it's day one of working on this barn. We're going to go up and get it all laid out and staked out and um, maybe even holes drilled today. we got about a half hour drive ahead of us. It's really pretty down here this time of year. It's always pretty right here in this valley in Oregon, but except for when it's on fire. <laughs> There's Uncle Ben. Uncle Ben. <laughs> Do you ever miss this place? Uh, at all. <laughs> I, told you that. I miss the blacktail hunt. I do miss that. That was a lot of fun. However, I was born here. So, there's a part of it that's like, you know, it's nice to come back and visit. But about two days, and if I don't have to go to the actual town of Medford, where all the homeless are, and tweakers, I mean, absolutely just tweaked out of their mind. <laughs> if I don't have to go into Medford, it's better. square diagonal you run a, that 300 foot tape from this corner to that corner and from that corner to that corner until it's square and we just got done with that how many times do we walk back and forth yeah no, probably 30 40 at least but it is mm, money so we've been here for Nine hours. We got two left, and then we got to switch over to the 12 inch. There's a lot of rock in this area. We had to resort to something bigger. Just trying to break through these rocks. It's really tough. Most shallow hole. A foot, foot and a half. Hit solid bedrock. That hole in the center is a rock drill bit that we use to try to break up some stuff. That's as deep as it'll go. This is a second shallow hole. It's about a foot and a half. The rest of them are about two foot. So we're gonna check square one more time and then start setting posts. taking a lunch break but I got some wafers they're vanilla and they reminded me of when I was in Russia there's a little babushka down the road that would make these fresh every day and I'd ride there and get like a five I don't know one of those garbage or not garbage but like a grocery sack full of these and eat them all day long that and cheese and bread <laughs> that's what I lived on in Russia
You had a camera and everything slows down. Yeah. Oh. Wants to go the other way. No. Nope. Other way. <laughs> it doesn't do uh, doesn't really know what it wants. Yeah, yeah. Some of these posts were really, post holes, I guess, were really rocky. So we have to move them by hand. Six, eight, ten inches sometimes. Um, got all the posts set. They're in place anyway. We still have, we ran out of concrete for those four posts. That one, those four. So next step is to hang dresses on Monday. We got all the dresses built. Dalton and I did today. Well, the other guy was putting concrete in. And so we'll just pick them up with that machine and set them on top of the posts. take a break.
It's our last day out here building this barn and it's a straight downpour. It's been raining on us the last three days, but today's the worst for sure. Can I have a ride up there? Oh no, oh no. <laughs> Go Dalton. Too gordo. <laughs> Too gordo? Gordo. It's gordo. <laughs> slippery one we got this fascia trim to put up and we're done on the main roof it's a little wet yeah. well we're packing up the barn's done turned out pretty good he's gonna go back and side it we're not siding it we're just girding the walls put the roof on Everywhere where there are no girts is going to be a door. So, turned out pretty cool. Fired. Is it all gonna ride? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, no problem. Oh sure. You bet. It's been real, it's been fun. It ain't been real fun. Well, we're done with the barn and we made it home. Everything went smoothly. Nobody fell off the roof. Everybody made a little bit of money and had a good time. So I appreciate you guys and thank you for watching and we'll see you on the next one.